Hello folks, in this video I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix my very crappy steering for my Craspin DGT 6000 tractor. As you can see, I have disconnected the uh, tie rod on the other side. But as you can see, this whole thing wobbles quite a bit, which means that it does not match with the uh, teeth of uh, this gear, which comes from the steering column uh, up above. So clearly, uh, in fact, I know that there are some bushings uh, behind here that are plastic, and those wear out. They probably cost $3, but I'm going to try to get this fixed with some permanent real ball bearings with uh, uh, with a collar that will allow me to tie that shaft together and not have any wobble anymore. Uh, this has been lasting probably five or six years so it lasted quite a while so I could just put in the three dollar bushings and be done with it but uh, as you guys know that's not the way to do things. This should have been designed right better to begin with. So hopefully I didn't uh, chew up my teeth over here, which I think I did a little bit. So I'm going to have to take this apart and see how this is going to work out. Uh, but I think that once this is properly seated, then that should go away. Maybe I'll touch them up a little bit with a file. So to take this out, um, I think I'm going to take out this whole plate right here uh, that holds this whole assembly in place. I've already removed the uh, clip from the steering column down inside there. Clip is right there. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the uh, steering, uh, the steering wheel. And, uh, and then I'm gonna take off these two bolts. There are two right here and two on the very opposite side. And then this whole plate should drop off with that whole assembly. So I have taken out the four bolts, two on each side. I've taken out the uh, steering wheel and the uh, steering shaft dropped right off uh, because I had removed that clip previously. So there is the steering shaft coming down. And now let's see if I can take this plate out. I probably have to put my camera down. Yeah, so it's just going to need a little bit of persuasion. As you can see, if I grab the steering column and kind of push it. The whole thing does move. Okay. You also notice that it's hooked up. Yeah, so it's kind of hooked up on this bar that runs side by side, which is uh, part of the, one of the levers. So I'll have to get that over that bar and it should slide right out. Okay, so a little persuasion. I just hit it right here a little bit with a couple hammer blows and it got it over that uh, clip. And now just wiggle it out. How am I gonna put it back in? I don't know, but We'll see, so uh, I'm going to have to twist it because it's going to hit this lip and this bolt right here. So I think I'm going to have to twist this side up and this side down. Okay, so like I said, twisted it uh, back front to back and side to side a little bit using the uh, uh, steering shaft as a lever and be careful I noticed that with the top of the steering shaft I was uh, pulling some of that wiring that's uh, back there so uh, just be careful of that at the top as you're twisting and, and here it is okay so we clean all this out you'll see that here's the plastic bushings there's one at the bottom one at the top clearly piece of junk how do you expect this to work um, 
So I'm going to take this nut off and take this whole thing out. Okay, so took that nut off right there. I have to take off this bracket, which was holding my one of the idler pulleys for the uh, dry belt. Ah, so, <laughs> so here's the problem, and this has been happening on my shaft of my snowblower as well, by the way. So this thing had so much play and for so long, I don't know if you can tell, but it actually wore out the shaft. So it, the shaft must have been scraping against this hole for so long that it actually wore it out. You can see the difference there. So now the bottom section right there is much thinner, narrower than the top. And the only way to repair this is to get a bushing, like I said, with a locking collar, uh, a bearing with a locking collar. And um, somehow, I don't know if there's enough room. Actually, yeah, what I am thinking of doing, getting, uh, maybe I have to cut this off and get a, a bearing that has a support system that allows me to bolt it here and then lock the bearing on the collar and maybe a bearing right here and a bearing here should be able to, to do this. So I also noticed that this hole is pretty much shot, it's elongated on this side. And the feet on this gear are also pretty bad, right there. So obviously this is, and given the shaft being so bad, this is one piece. I might replace, I might order a new one of this guy as well. Um, but ultimately the fix is, like I said, to have some real bearings here. Um, there is room inside here to have a bearing mounted on a flange. Perhaps another one here. Um, the shaft isn't long enough to put one on the top so it's gonna have to go on the bottom. I guess there is room there to sneak a, a sawzall and cut that cut this protrusion off so that I can have a bearing flush with that right there. Okay guys, it's been a few days since uh, I worked on this, so basically what I did is I fabricated this bracket, which I painted white just because I had the paint. Uh, it's bolted um, inside, and basically the purpose of that bracket is to hold that pillar block down there, and also to space the pillar block from the sidewall right here of this uh, case. Um, so basically the pillar block is going to be the new bushing uh, replacement. You see this goes right through. It goes to the other side. And I have also purchased these um, thrust bearings, which consist of a washer, thrust washer, a real thrust bearing right there. These are the same parts, by the way, that uh, I purchased for the... Um, um, the uh, the steering axle uh, improvement that you'll see in my other video and uh, basically fake power steering and then there's another washer that goes right on top of it this is at this point somewhat flush and so it's the perfect spacing then I'm going to put the original washer and the original screw and this guy should be nice and oh yeah turns nice and smooth and now that I have everything in there I'm gonna bolt down all these nuts and bolts and it should be one solid block for the other 
uh, for the steering column, I purchased this bearing off of eBay. And um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bolt it there. It actually does not sit flush. If you notice, I don't know if you can tell. It's hard to tell, but um, for some reason it, it sits more like this when you go bolted down. Uh, obviously, when I have the, the steering column uh, through it, it does sit a little crooked. So I'm going to have to find a way to maybe space it out over here so that it doesn't tend to, to snug down and, and, and make the steering tight. But basically, this is going to be nice because once the steering column is through this, I can lock the, uh, the, lock, uh, the set screws here to lock the uh, steering column right in the bearing. And this guy is not going anywhere. I also purchased a second one of this, which it's going to go in place of that white bushing you see down there, which the steering column goes through. That guy right there. Okay, so I'll just take that out, put one of those uh, bushings in there, and uh, I think that uh, it'll feel a lot better, and it will also be much uh, more robust. So, I will bolt it all down and get back. Okay guys, well, I forgot to take a video for you before I put it back together, but basically you can see I bolted the uh, pillow block, I mean the... Um, the uh, the bearing down there uh, just on one side I when I put the shaft in the steering shaft it was uh, kind of coming up crooked it wasn't sitting flush so I just put a piece of metal there as a spacer bolted it down and um, I actually have to bolt down the uh, set screws on the shaft and I don't think that's gonna go anywhere it is gonna be much better than what was there before even in this uh, kind of jigged up uh, situation. Up here, I did not, I decided not to put the uh, bearing, the other bearing. I decided that was uh, just beyond the scope. And uh, that bushing is nice and thick actually. As you can see there, it's a thick uh, plastic uh, type material. And, um, you know, there is just a little bit of play around the shaft, but uh, I think it's gonna do fine. So it's all back together now, and uh, I have it up there so I can't turn it yet, but it seems to turn pretty nice and smooth. So here's how it turns. It still turns more to the left, like it always did. And you can see the tire is cranked way out versus on the other side it hits the stop there and it doesn't go any further. This is a design feature if you want to call it that. And I think simply the stops are right here. There is one right here and there is one on the other side. So when it hits the, the gear right there it just doesn't go anymore. So that's it. I'm going to be testing it out uh, out back in the driveway. Snow is almost melted finally, and um, I think uh, that's it. Thank you. Okay, last snippet of video. I have it all back together. I tested it out, and it turns fantastic. Look how much more it turns. I don't think it's ever turned that much before. I hope that when I put the hood on, it's not going to uh, touch, but it shouldn't because um, I think it was just designed to do that. And it just never did it. So it turns nice and smooth. And um, it worked out really good. So I hope uh, this will help you. And uh, give it a shot. It's not that complicated. Uh, of course, uh, there was no precision engineering done on this. Just slap it together, a bunch of washers. Um, just kind of uh, also... I had originally put it all together in pieces, but then found that things didn't really mesh well together. So I undid all the nuts and bolts uh, once I had the um, uh, all the all the gears in place and everything, including the uh, steering shaft, and then tightened everything up together, and it held nicely. So then I was able to install it in the tractor. So again, um, nice modification, which uh, should have been there to begin with by the factory, and uh, have fun.